she testified that she received a generous pay offer from a company that she worked for and got another job offer from another company. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our announcements are as follows every morning at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday. We have our morning prayer, which is at 7 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Our midday service starts at 5 to 12, and then we have our evening service, which starts at 6 p.m. every night. Our midnight prayer starts at 5 to 12 every night, and we also have our weekly prayer and fasting, which is on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. The details of the fasting are shared on our different WhatsApp groups. Amen. Amen. Tonight we will get the word of God from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 from verse 13 and I read. It reads as follows. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Were you baptized in the name of Paul? For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligent I will frustrate. Where is the wise person? Where is the teacher of the law? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not know him. God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those whom God has called both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Amen. 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 Also tonight we will have a privilege to go through the word of God together, believing the word of God to be taught with power, power of the Holy Spirit, power to heal, power to bless, power to protect in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, let us go through the word of God from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse number 13 the Bible says that is Christ divided was Paul crucified for you were you baptized in the name of Paul and to understand very well what Apostle Paul was talking about, let us read verse number, number 11 and verse number 12 of 1 Corinthians chapter 1. My brothers and sisters from Chloe household have informed me that there are quarrels among you. I mean, is this, what, what I mean is this, one of you says that I follow Paul, another one I follow Apollos, another one Cephas, still another I follow Christ. And then, first of all, Apostle Paul is writing this letter. As he's writing this letter, he says that there was a quarrel, there was disagreement, and the problem why there was disagreement, the Bible says that some they were saying that I follow Paul, some they were saying that I follow Cephas, some they were saying that I follow Apollos, and they end up being divided. Amen. And Don't if, that's really... if you follow very well what the word of God talks about here and what Apostle Paul was addressing here, it was a, it is a similar thing that is happening today. 
you know, the body of Jesus Christ needs to be one. Needs to be one. You know, what needs to matter the most is that are you born again or you are not born again? Are you saved or are you not? But you find that today in the same body of Jesus Christ, there is a lot of debate and a lot of division. And when you try to follow, what is the division all about? And you find that the division is in the body of Jesus Christ, it is coming after when one says that I'm a Catholic. Another one said that I'm faith mission. Another one said that I follow this man of God. Another one said that I follow that man of God. And this was the similar thing that Jesus Christ was addressing. Because at the end of the day, it is bringing this kind of matters are bringing divisions in the body of Jesus Christ. We find Christians divided Amen. when they are not supposed to be divided. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We find Christians divided. Another one says that I'm following Paul. Another one is saying that I'm following this one. Another one is saying that I'm following this one. Then, Amen. you know, Apostle Paul said that no, no one died on the cross of Calvary except Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. No Amen. one died on the cross except Jesus. All those Amen. names of the churches or the leaders of the churches, none of them have died on the cross for that church for that church sins, for the believer's sins, then that must not be what causes division in the body of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We must see the bigger picture that we are not Christian because we go to this church and we are not Christians because we go to that church, but we are Christians because we have accepted Jesus as our Lord and our Savior. Amen. That he died on the cross for our sins. Amen. Then Christianity is a journey which we are walking with God. Amen. It's a Amen. journey that we are walking with God after when we have received Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Not after when we went to this church or not after when we went to that church, Amen. but after when we have accepted Jesus as our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Amen. And that is very, very much important for each and every one of us to understand that the day that we, you know, we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior, we did not accept the pastor. We did not accept the servant of God into our hearts. But we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Amen. And it Amen. is the blood of Jesus Christ that washes and washed our, our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And that is something that all of us must remember. You know, and we God say that I'm going to this service. I'm going to this prayer because of Jesus. Amen. At the end of the day, it is Jesus Amen. Christ who have said that we two or three come together in my name. There I am in their midst. I'm going to meet with Jesus. I'm not going to meet the pastor. Amen. Amen. I'm going to meet who? Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's all about Jesus. 
Because no one died for the Christians. No one owns the Christians. Amen. The Christians belongs to Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that Amen. for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing but to those who be who are being saved is the power of God. The Bible is saying that Amen. you know the message of the cross, the message, the word of God about Jesus. The Bible says that the word of God about Jesus it is foolishness to those who are perishing. You know, Amen. when someone begins to hear you praying, hear you praying, hear you preaching, hear you studying the word of God, hear you meditating on the word of God, they think maybe you don't have anything to do. Sometimes they think there is something wrong with you. Because they don't understand why are you praying? Why are you spending time pray what is the use some people don't understand what is the use why are you praying it is as if it's to them because they don't know what prayer is all about they think it is foolishness to pray it is a waste of time to pray it is the waste of time to listen to the word of god is the waste of time Amen. to do the things of God. That's what some of the people think. Some people, they wonder, why are you doing these things? Why are you praying? Why are you fasting? Why are you tithing? Why are you tithing? Amen. Some people will say, why are you tithing? Why are you doing the things of God? Don't you have any other hobby? That's what they will ask you. But the Bible says that the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing because they lack revelation. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. To those Amen. who are perishing, to them it's foolishness. They ask themselves, why are people praying? Amen. You know, they wonder. You arrive. And you know there is a food full of every kind of food full in the table. And you say, I'm not eating, I'm fasting. And they can't understand. Don't you like meat? Do you know meat? The way that they are enjoying meat and they can't skip a meal without it. They can't even skip one meal. They wonder, why are you fasting? Amen. Amen. Why are you giving your money to church? They can't understand it. Amen. Why are you praying? To them, the Bible says that it is, the, it is foolishness. But Amen. the word of God does not end there. The Bible says it is foolishness to those who are perishing. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what Amen. I'm saying. Amen. To those who are what? Amen. Who are perishing, it is foolishness. Amen. Amen. Unfortunately, they will find out very late that they should have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Unfortunately, Amen. some they will find out very late that they should have been doing the things of God in their life. Amen. Amen. Because in Amen. reality, one day, all of us will pass on from this world. Amen. One day will pass. One day will we'll pass on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And when, when one day will pass, those who are born again, they will go through the way Jesus Christ and go Amen. to heaven. Jesus Christ will qualify us, will qualify you, and you will go to heaven. 
Amen. And if you have served God with your life, and you will be rewarded according to what you have done. Unfortunately, if we did not, and if that person did not accept Jesus Christ, will die and go to hell. From that day, he will wish, I wish I've accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. I thought what they were doing was foolish. They will say that I. they saw that what they... Those who are born again, those who are saved, when doing was foolish, but that day they will realize it was not foolish, that the ones who were foolish. Amen. Amen. Even that one who was just focusing on their career, focusing on their business, and maybe sometimes the business was going well. One day, like a rich man, when he died and go to hell, he will go like, why did I not just save Jesus with my life? Because this life is all about Jesus. All these other things are just bonuses. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible said that the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to those who are saved, it is the power of God. The message of the cross that Jesus Christ died for us on the cross of Calvary for our sins to be saved. Amen is the power of God. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. For us who are being saved is the power of God that Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. That when we believe that Jesus Christ died, when we confess with our mouth the precious blood of Jesus comes and washes away all of our sins. And God forgives and forget every sin that we have ever committed. Amen. Then the power of the Amen. cross is the power. Cross is the power of God. Amen. Because it symbolizes Amen. the place where Jesus Christ died for us. Amen. And he died for us that we may be saved. He died for Amen. us that we may become Amen. the children of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse number 19. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the intelligent of the intelligent. I will frustrate. What I want you to understand, what I want us to understand is the word of God says that I will destroy wisdom of the wise and intelligence of intelligent I will frustrate. Because for you to understand the things of God, for you to be saved, you know, you are, we are not being saved because you are wise. You are not being saved because you are intelligent. You are being saved, first of all, because you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Also, for you to, to have revelation, you are not revel- getting revelation because you are wise. You are not getting revelation because you are intelligent. But you are Amen. actually Amen. getting revelation because you are saved and you have got the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are not getting revelation because, oh, to say, oh, no, this one understand mathematics. No, we get revelation because of the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is the Holy Spirit. Amen. That gives us that supernatural ability 
to understand the things of God, to be able to walk with God, Amen. and to be able to operate Amen. in the Spirit. Amen. And the people of the world and those who are wise, they begin to be confused. Ah, because they are intelligent, why can't they understand these things? Amen. They are intelligent, but they, they wonder why Amen. they don't understand the things of God. Amen. Amen. Because they are not saved, because they are not born again, they are not filled with the Holy Spirit. They will need the Holy Spirit, they will need to be saved first in order to understand the things of God. Amen. And in order Amen. to walk with God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's why the word of God is saying that I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. And the word of God is saying that I will destroy hey, the intelligent of intelligent. I will. God is saying that he will frustrate because those who are intelligent, they thought they were too intelligent, you know, to surrender to Christ. Amen. And that's when they were missing Amen. the mark. Amen. If they want to understand the things of God, they have to open their hearts first and accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. Amen. That's why Jesus said, Amen. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. Amen. If anyone wants to fellowship with the Father, they have to go through Jesus Christ to the Father. And the Father will give them the, 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 the wells of revelation. Amen. And make them to be able to understand the things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Anyway, because of time tonight, I want you to begin to pray. I want you to begin to pray as you're about to pray, asking God, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Help me to understand the things of God. Help me to walk with God by the Holy Spirit. Mentes Mayanda raba zondo boshya daraba Mataka ba zondo boshya daraba Holy Ghost, 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 in 
every I sector want of my life. Catch fire now! Catch fire now! I command them. Come on! Run for my goal. I command. Everything. Turn around for my goal. So let them be progress. 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 Say I command. Progress. Let them be breakthrough. 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 In the name of Jesus. Select Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Give me my sins. Protect me from today. From today. I am born again. From today. I am saved. I am born again. Send me the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The love of God. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love shall follow me all the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. I want to say to us tonight, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a wonderful night in Jesus' name. Bye bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day and afternoon and night. Amen. Bye bye.